Open Buildings has many different types of object types which we can apply to our designs depending on the situation involved. For your standard elements, Open Buildings comes with the generic types such as walls, doors, windows, slabs, railings, columns, etc. And these are easily gained or got from a pick list of library types and we can just place them in our model. They come with all the predefined information properties that we can alter and edit as we as we wish. But often these types of objects don't contain the modeling flexibility that sometimes we require in our designs. Adding into our modeling techniques is the flexibility of using ordinary drafting tools and solid surfaces and meshes. So here we may want a bit more flexibility in our modeling technique. So what we might do is place ourselves a little profile around this edge here. And with this, we can then alter at a later stage to suit our requirements. So quite simply, we place the profile and then run the profile around the predefined curve. And then of course, we can then alter the profile to suit. So we have a little gap here. We may build that gap back in to there. Of course, that profile can be altered further. We may, we may find we want some type of channel in our profile here. We can show the input element and use the insert vertex tool to add that profile in our channel. Of course, again, that can be altered at a later stage as we see fit. The entire solid here can then be acted on as one entire unit. For example, we may choose to put a, a little fillet on the edge there. We can select the edge, we can select tangential edges, and it runs right around the whole of the solid extrusion. Okay, we may not be entirely happy with the radius of that particular extrusion, so we can select the object and pull the radius to size to suit. We may wish to add some geometry to our profile. So if we zoom out and head back to the beginning of our profile, let's place a little rectangle right at the top here. And we can pop it in there. We don't know the exact size yet, but we can use that to move it up and down a later point. The sweep edge provides a great tool to add a protrusion to our solid. We would select our existing solid. It shows us a path wrapping right around the entire edge of this particular extrusion, and we can choose the profile and click, and it builds us a protrusion just like so. Of course, if we're not happy with the height of that protrusion, we can select the, the edge and shift it up and down to suit. The path in which this object follows can also be altered. If we spin around and select our solid, one of the widgets indicates the path here. We may stretch that along and the path then changes to suit. Should we want to wrap this further around our, our slab here? We can do that. If we select the solid, Again, the widgets will appear. We can right click and say, show input element. And you can see now that we get the red uh, path line appearing. With that, we could add in a vertex. Again, using the search, we can type in insert vertex. And we can stretch that over to there. There will be a slight offset of that vertex from the corner. So if we hit T for top, we can just stretch that out a little bit. And then T for top, we can bend that back in there. So from a simple path and a simple profile, we've been able to do some pretty dramatic things with a solid in a very short space of time, giving it lots of geometrical flexibility, lots of after-edit capability, Lots of relationships and lots of parametrics.